from I don't want to get too political and start getting into all this shit, but ivermectin and, and monoclonal antibodies have been around for a long time. Now all of a sudden you can't you can't dig them up to save your life. The doctors won't give them to you, you know. And even when I did it, when I did it h h here in Vegas, which was however many weeks ago that I had it, like right before Christmas I think or something. Um, yeah, I made one phone call and was able to get to get it done. And that's not like some fucking rich, famous guy shit. Like anybody could have could have called and, and you know, because that's what everybody always throws at me. Yeah, of course you can fucking make a phone call and get it. Bullshit. Everybody could have got it back then. Um, you know, Lene had it. Lene did monoclonal antibodies and di did all that stuff. Everybody could get it. Now, I, and you know, Rogan's been talking about it. Then I went crazy talking about it. You can't get those things to save your life now. Literally. Are you, are you surprised at the backlash that people don't even want to allow you to discuss options and pretreatment? It's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's one of the craziest things that I've ever witnessed in my life. You know? And you're, we're, we're talk, I'm not talking about um, experimental drugs or things that you This stuff's been around. I mean, the guy, the ivermectin, the guy, a doctor? Won, the guy won the Nobel Peace Prize. You're a doctor? Huh? You're a doctor? I'm no, saying. but there's plenty See? of doctors there you go. that do. Uh, yeah, here he comes. <laughs> I just asked a question. Are you a doctor? No, but I, but, I, but I took them and they both work for me. So why shouldn't I be able to take them again? Or other people? I won't answer. I'm no, no, come on. Dive in. We, we do have a Why shouldn't we be able to take them? Right? You, you want to know what's scary? I bet I could get some fucking pain pills quicker than I could get monoclonal antibodies. No, not maybe. That's a fact. That's a fact. They fucking hand out pain pills like they like their Tic Tacs. Nobody said that was right. Huh? And nobody said that was right. No. I There's no question that our best, strongest pain medicines are the opioids. But these are the same drugs that have a reputation for causing addiction and other terrible things. Now, in fact, the rate of addiction amongst pain patients who are treated by doctors is much less than 1%. They don't wear out, they go on working, they do not have serious medical side effects. And so these drugs, which I repeat, are our best, strongest pain medications, should be used much more than they are for patients in pain. You're like Hitler, but, but even Hitler cared about Germany or, or something. Okay, 